The cortex can't really do what it needs to do without the help of the basal ganglia and vice versa. And in a way, you can think about this logically as saying, you know, if if you have the ability to withhold behavior or to execute it, how do you decide which to do? Well, the cortex is going to have to do that thinking for you. You have to be looking at all the contingencies of your situation to decide, is this a crazy move or is this a really smart investment right now or, you know, what? I don't want to go out for a run in the morning, but I'm going to make myself go out for a run or I'm having a great time out on a run and I know I need to get back, but I kind of want to go another mile. I mean, another great example is that, you know, the marshmallow test for the little kids, you know, they can get two marshmallows if they hold off, you know, just 30 seconds initially, you know, they can have one right away, but if they can wait 30 seconds, they got two, you know, so that's the no go because their cortex is saying, you know, I would really like to have two more than having one. But they're not going to get the two unless they can not reach for the one. So they've got to hold off the action.